Hi class, we have done a lot of properties on triangle. Today, let us see a very interesting theorem, midpoint theorem on triangles. Okay? First of all, let us read the statement of the theorem. The line segment joining the midpoint of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is equal to half of. Suppose ABC was a triangle. E and F are the midpoint of AB and AC respectively. Then we'll see that EF will be half of BC. And EF is parallel to BC. Let us try to prove the result. How? Look over here. First, I'll do a construction. And what is my construction? Through C, draw a line parallel to AB and meeting. EF produced at D, which means if suppose I draw a line like this, which is parallel to AB, mind you, parallel to AB, and it needs EF produced, suppose at D. Okay, now look, look at these two triangles, I try to prove them. Congruent in triangle AFE, AFE and triangle CFD, CFD. If you look, AF is equal to CF. Why? Because F is the midpoint. F is the midpoint. We know this. Am I clear? Similarly, if you see. This angle and this angle are equal. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angle. Angle AFE is equal to angle CFD. Why? Vertically opposite angle. We need to write the reasons. And if you look carefully, these two angles are interior alternate angle because AB is parallel to CD. Which means, can I write angle FAE? is equal to FCD. Why? Alternate angle, which means if you look carefully, triangle AFE, triangle AFE is congruent to triangle CFD. And reason is angle side angle. Done. Now, if these two triangles are congruent, then can we say EF equals to FD? EF equals to FD. Why? CPCT, corresponding part of congruent triangle are equal. Similarly, can I say AE is equal to CD? Reason is same, CPCT. Done. Now look at the second thing, what I'll do. Look at EBCD. Look at the quadrilateral EBCD. Now we know, to prove a quadrilateral parallelogram, what we need to do? We need to prove that any one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. If you can prove that, then the entire quadrilateral becomes a parallelogram. What I mean, look over here. In this quadrilateral, C, B, E is parallel to C, D by construction, by construction and if we can prove that they are equal then it's a parallel graph now look carefully AE is equal to BE why because E is the midpoint E is the midpoint now look instead of AE can I write CD which means CD is equal to B why because AE is equal to CD, already proved, already proved, which mean one pair of opposite sides are equal as well as parallel, which means your quadrilateral EBCD is nothing but a parallelogram, is a parallelogram, and if it's a parallelogram, can I write ED? Parallel to BC, which means, can I write EF, look carefully, 
parallel to BC. Proved the first part. Done. Now let us see the second part. How to prove. Look carefully. We already know that EF equals to FD. EF equals to FD. Already proved. Already proved. Now look carefully. We have just now proved that EF CD is a parallel. Which means, can I write ED is equal to BC? Opposite sides of parallel. Opposite sides of parallel. They have to be equal. Now, ED. ED is nothing but twice of EF. Because EF and FD are same. So we can write ED is twice of EF, which is equal to BC. Which means EF equals to BC by 2. Which means EF is half of BC. Done. Am I clear? Let us see the converse of this theorem. The converse says the line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle parallel to to the another side bisects the third side which means if E is the midpoint of AB EF is parallel to BC then F is the midpoint of AC let us prove this we need to prove that F is the midpoint I will do a construction look over here what is my construction same through C draw a line parallel to AB meeting EF produced I've taken that as L at D which means something like this see done okay and this is parallel to this am I clear see we'll try to prove this to congruent look over your first thing this is D. Your E, B, C, D. E, B, C, D. Okay. Is a parallelogram. Why? Because we know E, B is parallel to C, D by construction. And E, D is already parallel to B, C. It was given to us. Hence it is a parallelogram. Which means opposite sides are equal. Which means EB will be equal to CD and ED will be equal to BC. Now look carefully. E is the midpoint of AB. So we can say AE is equal to EB. Why? E is the midpoint of AB and EB is equal to CD which means can I write AE is equal to CD comparing this and this we can easily write that AE and CD are equal now look at the triangle AEF and triangle CDF look carefully AE is equal to CD just now proved AE is equal to CD proved we just now proved it ok then this angle and this angle are equal vertically opposite angle angle AFE angle AFE is equal to CFD CFD why vertically opposite angle this angle and this angle are equal. Alternate angle, you have discussed it. Angle FAE, angle FAE is equal to FCD. FCD, why? Alternate angle, which means triangle AEF. Look carefully, AEF is congruent to 
triangle C D F. Reason is the angle angle side. Angle angle side. Now if these two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding part will be equal, which means A F. A F. Look over here. A F and C F. A F equals to C F. Why? C P C T. Which implies F is the midpoint of AC, and this is what we are supposed to prove. Done. Let us see one more interesting theorem on this. Now let us see theorem on intercept. First of all, what is intercept? Suppose you have two lines in a plane. Suppose P and Q, and there's another line N. It cuts P at A and Q at B. Then this line segment AB is known as the intercept on N by P and Q. Okay. So if a transversal makes equal intercept on three or more parallel lines, there are three or more parallel lines, then any other line cutting them also makes equal intercept. Which means, if suppose we have L, M, N parallel line. There's a transversal P and AB is equal to BC. We know. So if you draw any other line, any other transversal, it will also make equal intercept, which is DE will be equal to EF. Suppose we draw a line Q. So we need to prove. Let us prove it. We need to prove that DE equals to EF. Okay. Again, I'll do some construction. What is my construction? I'll draw through E. I'll draw a line. Look carefully. Parallel to P. Suppose this is R, which means L at G and N at H. What I'm saying through E, draw a line R parallel to P and meeting L at G. And n at h. Now a prime motto is to prove that these two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, then DE equals to EF, which is what we want to prove. <coughs> Now look carefully. <coughs> look at A B E G. That's a parallelogram because these two are parallel by construction, and A G is parallel to B. Already known. So A B E G is a parallelogram, which means A B is equal to A E G. A B is equal to E G. Done. Similarly, if you look at P C H E, P C H E is a parallelogram again, in which I can clearly say B C is equal to E H. Now we know that AB is equal to BC. AB and BC are equal, and AB is equal to this, and BC equals to this, which ultimately means from one and two, and this can I write? GE is equal to EH. I can write from all these three above. Now look how I will prove in triangle DEG. And triangle F E H F E H. Okay, look, this angle and this angle will be equal. What will be opposite angle? Can I say angle T E G is equal to angle F E H vertically opposite angle E G E G is equal to E H. Proved. We have already proved this. And look at one more thing. This angle and this angle will be equal. Alternate angle. Look over here. These two are parallel. This is a transversal. So can I write angle EGD is equal to EHFY? Alternate angle, which means triangle D. E G D E G 
is congruent to triangle FEH, triangle FEH, angle side angle. And if these two triangles are congruent, can I say DE equals to EF? DE equals to EF. What? CPCT. Proved. Am I clear? Remember the midpoint theorem, the converse, and the theorem on intercept. In the next video, we'll sum, we'll do sums based on these theorems only. Till then, take care.